Hey guys, what's up? We have been working on something interesting and it is mechanical in nature. We know that there are quite a few size comparison videos about robots, but our list will beat them all with the 20 biggest movie robots. In this list, we include famous ones like the Iron Giant, Mecha Godzilla, and all, but we decided to put in just two or three entries from Jaegers of the Pacific Rim and from the Transformers as they would no doubtly flood the entire rankings. So before you continue, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. So here are 20 biggest robots and mechas from movies. Number 20, ED-209. The Enforcement Droid Series 209, or ED-209, were a fully automated series of peacekeeping machines created by Omni Consumer Products in the movie Robocop. The units were programmed for urban pacification, but OCP also negotiated contracts with the military for use in war. When Robocop attempted to arrest Dick Jones, he deployed ED-209 and it blasted Robocop with its cannons, then smacked him across the room. ED-209 then attempted to shoot Robocop in his visor, but Robocop forced its blasting left arm into his right, destroying it. This robot is 11 feet tall or 3.35 meters. Number 19. Gort Gort is a fictional humanoid robot that appears first in the 1951 20th Century Fox American science fiction film The Day the Earth Stood Still, and later in its 2008 remake. Its depiction varies between film adaptations. The nature of Gort was almost completely altered in the 2008 remake. Gort's name was given by the United States military and scientists as G-O-R-T which stands for Genetically Organized Robotic Technology. In this movie adaptation, although there were no exact specification, we can make out that he was around 45 to 50 feet tall or around 14 to 15 meters. Number 18. The Iron Giant The Iron Giant is a large 50 foot tall metal man of alien origin and the deuterogonist of the film adapted from the original novel by Ted Hughes, The Iron Man. While capable of incredible destructive powers and equipped with highly advanced and destructive weaponry, the Iron Giant would not ever want to harm anyone or any living thing. When he first came to Earth, the Iron Giant had a bomb on his head that was holding back info from its suit's defense systems. The Iron Giant would only allow its suit to activate its defense weapons in self-defense. Number 17. The Harvester the Harvester is a large bipedal non-humanoid hunter-killer unit produced by Skynet sometime before 2016. Seen in Terminator Salvation, this giant robot is 18 meters or 60 feet tall and its primary function is to capture humans for the machines to do lab testing on stem cells. When a Harvester has captured any human test subject, it calls a transport which arrives and lands somewhere near the Harvester. Located on the back left of the Harvester is a large-scale, electrically charged plasma cannon which obliterates its targets upon contact. Number 16. Mechanic Kong Mechanic Kong is a remote-controlled robot double of King Kong introduced in the 1966 animated television series The King Kong Show and featured again in the 1967 film King Kong Escapes. The robot was created by Doctor Who, who tried to replicate the giant ape King Kong. Mechanic Kong was 20 meters or 65 feet tall and weighed 15,000 metric tons. Mechanic Kong is the creation of the villainous Doctor Who as a mad scientist bent on world domination and a sworn enemy of King Kong. Mechanic Kong's name comes from the words mechanical and Kong part of the King Kong's name. Number 15. The Omnidroid The Omnidroids are a secondary antagonist of The Incredibles. They are a series of superhero killing battle robots created by the supervillain syndrome as a part of Operation Kronos. The Omnidroids are programmed with an artificial intelligence that allows them to learn as it fights its opponents and to solve any problem they encounter. The pinnacle of the Omnidroid series, the Omnidroid version 10, was designed by Syndrome for the final stage of Operation Kronos. It is the largest at 70 feet tall or 21.5 meters and it is the smartest and the deadliest version of the Omnidroids. Number 14. Megazord In the 2017 Power Rangers movie, the Zords are alien battle vehicles that have taken the form of the most powerful beasts on the world they landed in, in this case the Cenozoic Era Earth. The Megazord, which is 82 feet tall or 25 meters, is the combination of the five battle Zords, T-Rex, Pterodactyl, Mastodon, Triceratops and Sabertooth. The Megazord has jet thrusters on its feet, retractable wings that can transform into twin power swords, twin cannons on its left wrist and a blade that can extend on its right wrist. Number 13. The Dinobots 
The Dinobots are a group of Autobot Transformers who appears in Transformers The Age of Extinction. They were rescued and freed from Lockdown's ship and immediately their leader Grimlock challenged Optimus Prime to a fight and when Prime won, he agreed to fight alongside the Autobots against the Decepticons in Hong Kong. There is Strath, Slug, Scorn and Grimlock and out of them the biggest is Scorn at 87 feet tall or 26.5 meters tall followed by Grimlock at 84 feet tall or 25.6 meters tall and the other two at 70 and 57 feet tall. Number 12. Mecha Godzilla. This version of the metal kaiju is from Ready Player One. Mecha Godzilla, also referred as Kiryu, is a mecha vehicle option for players in the Oasis. The vehicle is based on a kaiju of the same name from Godzilla film franchise. The villain Nolan Sorrento pilots this mech during the Battle of Castle Anorak in the final scenes of the movie. It is one of the largest mechs available in the game, standing at 30 meters or 98 feet tall. Mecha Godzilla is near indestructible and has a powerful atomic breath attack but is hampered by its slow speed and maneuverability. Number 11. Devastator Seen in Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, the Devastator is an immensely powerful warrior and in the sense the combination of the Constructicons into a merged being is impressive. Whether he is formed from 6 to 9 Constructicons, Devastator is a giant among giants. He is so huge in fact that his body simply cannot support itself when carrying his weight upright, forcing him to lumber on all fours. Devastator is named after Cybertron's unwithstandable and terrifyingly destructive Devastator wins. In The Revenge of the Fallen, he is stated to be 108 feet tall or 33 meters. Number 10. The Tripods In the most recent film adaptation of War of the Worlds, tripods were featured as a squid, jellyfish-like design. For this design, it has two windshields that are on both sides of the dome-like head, a dozen or more tentacles that can be retracted. These war machines are evidently taller than any other adaptation, at 150 feet tall to be exact, bigger than the 1953 designs of the war machine. In this adaptation, the tripods have been waiting beneath the ground for countless years to be activated by the returning aliens. Number 9. Jet Jaguar Jet Jaguar is a heroic mecha created by Toho that first appeared in the 1973 Godzilla film Godzilla vs. Megalon. Jet Jaguar was the result of a contest Toho had in the mid to late 1972 for fans to come out with new heroes for them to use. Jet Jaguar was a human-sized robot created by inventor Goro Ibuki for unknown reasons. Having been stolen by the underground nation of Cetopia, Jet Jaguar's mission was to guide Megalons to Tokyo so the insect kaiju could destroy it. It could grow to a maximum of 164 feet tall or 50 meters. Number 8. Kronos Way back in time during the time of Elvis, a movie came out and it was praised for its unique storytelling. So Kronos is a 1957 independently made American black and white science fiction film from Regal Films. In the movie, the robot Kronos is an energy accumulator sent by an alien race that has exhausted its own natural resource. They have sent their giant war machine to drain all of the Earth's available power and then return to their dying world. Kronos size wasn't given but our estimates put it at somewhere between 200 and 230 feet tall. Number 7. Talos Talos was an enormous bronze giant armed with a sword who protected Europe from pirates and thieves in Jason and the Argonauts. Although he was 70 meters tall in the film, Jason and the Argonauts, Talos was 8 feet tall in the actual mythology. Talos became the first major obstacle in Jason's journey. After landing on Crete or the Isle of Bronze, Jason ordered his men to take only food and water and not to disturb the treasures of the island. This caused Talos to think the Argonauts were pirates for he defended the treasure. Number 6. Gypsy Danger and Gypsy Avenger These entries are from the Pacific Rim universe and we decided to club them together as they are almost identical. Another reason as to why this entry and the next from the Pacific Rim is going to be a group of robots is that there are too many of them. Anyway, Gypsy Danger appears in the first Pacific Rim film and is a gigantic robot maker that is piloted by two humans mentally linked to each other. Its size is 260 feet tall or 79 meters and its successor, Gypsy Avenger, is a more advanced version and appears in the Pacific Rim Uprising and this one is 268 feet tall or 81 meters. Number 5. Cherno Alpha Cherno Alpha is a Mark I Russian Jaeger. Piloted by husband and wife duo Sasha and Alexis Kaidonovsky, 
Channel Alpha was the last of the Mark I Jaeger series and the oldest Jaeger still active in combat before its destruction in 2025. This Titan appears in the first Pacific Rim film and is 280 feet tall or 85.3 meters. Just a side note, there are numerous Jaegers that are made and still exist in the franchise and most of them are between the sizes of Gypsy and Cherno Alpha and to include them all will only become the biggest Jaeger video. Number 4. Mogera Mogera is a UN-built mecha created by Toho that first appeared in the 1994 Godzilla film Godzilla vs Space Godzilla. Mogera was a unique case in Toho's kaiju library as it did not have any actual rows, but it did however have sounds for its engines and beam attacks. It was constructed from the leftover pieces of Mecha Godzilla in another attempt to kill Godzilla. It could split into two different vehicles, the Land Mogera and the Star Falcon. Mogera has expansive arsenal of weapons, essentially making it a mobile weapons platform. Number 3. Mecha Godzilla Mecha Godzilla is a mecha that first appeared in the 1974 Godzilla film Godzilla vs Mecha Godzilla. To date, there have been four distinct incarnations of Mecha Godzilla featuring in the Godzilla franchise. The first was introduced in 1974 in Godzilla vs Mecha Godzilla, the second in the Hazy series in the 1993 film Godzilla vs Mecha Godzilla 2, the third, also known as Kiryu, first appeared in the film Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla in the 2002. The fourth incarnation of Mecha Godzilla made a brief appearance in the Planet of the Monsters. Their sizes are Showa 50 meters, Heisei 120 meters, Millennium at 60 meters, and Reiwa at 50 meters, respectively. Number 2 Driller The largest subterranean life form native to Cybertron, drillers are not to be taken lightly. Enormous multi tentacle beasts capable of burrowing through the ground or through buildings with ease, they are capable of great destruction and carnage on any scale. Naturally, all these qualities have endeared them to Shockwave, who keeps one as a pet and personal transport. According to the special effects team, the driller is the length of three football fields. That would make it roughly 1,080 feet long or 330 meters long. It was seen in Transformers The Dark of the Moon. And the number one spot goes to Mata Nui. The Mata Nui was the great spirit created by the great beings to explore and observe the galaxy. For a time, he was condemned to an eternal slumber with many Toa going on journeys to revive him. Upon Matanui's death after the Toa Mari failed to save the universe, Matoro sacrificed himself, dying so that Matanui could live again. With Matanui alive once more, Tahu and his allies journeyed to Karda Nui to awaken the great spirit. Matanui was set to tower above the clouds so he could have easily been over two kilometers tall. He was seen in the movie Bionicle 2, The Legends of Metro Nui. And with this, we come to the end of the list and we hope you liked it. So do give a thumbs up and share it with a few of your friend nerds. Anyway, it has been a blast, so see you guys next time.